a spawn point with a temple and village visible to you on both sides. Let's check it out. When I'm generating seeds for these videos, I am always hoping to come across a seed that I instantly decide is perfect for a video. A lot of the time, I'm just generating seeds in different programs or websites to try to find the best seeds to show all of you. This seed happens to be one that I saw and knew right away that I needed to share. Unfortunately, the loot isn't the greatest within the temple, and the village has no blacksmith, but I believe that having a village in a temple within a seeing distance of your spawn is pretty cool, so here's what I'd do. When I spawn in, I'd face south and just head over to the village. Having the food from the village right away is of course a great start. Perhaps even trap the villagers if you'd like to save them for later. As I said, there isn't a blacksmith, which is a bummer, but we can always make up for that later. Go ahead and turn back north and head into the desert temple. As I said previously, you don't get any spectacular loot from the temple, but it certainly isn't terrible. You can come out with 5 emeralds, 2 enchanted books, 5 iron, a saddle, and iron horse armor. So some okay loot, but nothing that blows you away. If you really want to make up for not receiving any loot from the village, or perhaps you would have preferred to get some diamonds, well, we can quickly make up for that. Less than 500 blocks away from the temple is actually another temple. Here, you can get two more emeralds, two more saddles, golden horse armor, a golden apple, two more iron, and two diamonds. Very close to the temple, in that same desert, is another village. And this village does have a blacksmith. I mean, perhaps we may have preferred to spawn inside of this desert instead of where we spawn, but, that, but that's alright. This village gives you another diamond, giving you enough to create a diamond pickaxe, and you get another piece of iron. While the temple and village at spawn don't give you a ton in terms of loot, this was one of those seeds that I really needed to share with you. Spawning in and seeing a temple in a village right next to you is definitely a welcoming sight. Being able to head either north or south right away towards something to explore is a pretty cool experience and I definitely felt it was worth showing you. Of course, the loot we ended off with to start the world is actually not too bad. It's a small decent collection that we can use to get started while still having a bit of a challenge ahead of us. With that, I welcome you to check out the seed for yourself. Additionally, if you didn't know, I'll be making top 5 seeds videos every Monday in collaboration with MinecraftSeeds.net, so feel free to check those out. I posted my first one this week, and I think that the seeds featured in it are pretty cool, so make sure to check that out if you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out of here. See ya.